What can I do to take back my power and improve the situation? What is the one thing, the one thing right here, right now, that would make the biggest difference and improve things for you? Hey folks, it's Susan at the Rock Shop at 311 Broadway Historic, downtown Paducah, positive energy, it works. Time for your angel message. So I'm using Doreen Virtue's Archangel Oracle cards. They have been cleared and shuffled. And let's see what the divine has for you this week. Okay. So I'm going to pick three cards. And I'm inclined to pick this one, this one, and... Ooh, there's some heat right there. This one. We're going to go with this one first. Remember who you are. Oh, good. All right. Archangel Michael. You are a powerful, loving, and creating child of God. You are very loved. So here we have Archangel Michael reminding us that, yes, we're walking around in our physical human bodies, and we have to, to be a part of this experiment here on planet Earth, right? But don't forget who you really are. And who is that, you might say? Well, I'm an architect, or I'm a carpenter, or I'm a hairstylist, or whatever it is that you do in life is not who you are in life. Who you are is a very powerful being. You are a spiritual being having a physical experience, not a physical being having a spiritual experience. I've said this many times, very different. When you really get that you are your soul, you are your higher self, residing in this physical body, experiencing life, then you start to remember who you really are. You are a powerful being. You are a loving, creating, creative child of God. And you are very loved. So you might be going through a time in your physical life where you're, you know, you're struggling. Uh, things aren't going the way that you would like them to go. Maybe, uh, maybe you're experiencing some financial hardships or maybe you're having some heartbreak from a loss, a loss of a, a family, a friend, uh, a job, uh, your health. It could be any number of things. But when you remember that you are a spiritual being, all of this is just the physical stuff that's going on. And it is very real. Don't get me wrong. It is very real. It's very important but it helps you stay balanced and weather those physical challenges that come your way because they will. This is earth and um, life is life. <laughs> life will find a way. So remember who you are. This is Archangel Michael this week. All right. Card number two. I love it. Take back your power. Archangel Raziel. Your God-given power and intention to manifest blessings in your life. Okay, well, I've got to say these two seem pretty related. So remember who you are. This is just stuff that's happening. Take back your power. Your power comes from remembering that you are a spiritual being, a child of God. You are powerful. If you're not liking what's going on in your physical world right now, then change it. Okay? So... You know, I, I can hear you and I can feel the eyes. Well, sure. So I say, well, I can't change, you know, my diagnosis or I can't change that I'm working for a really difficult boss or I can't change that, you know, this is happening in my life or I can't change. Well, no, maybe you cannot change those physical circumstances. But what you can do is take back your power. And your power is how you respond to those circumstances. Not, even, not always easy. I'm not saying that it is. To remember your intention and you're manifesting those blessings in your life, even when things seem like they're not for your best and highest good, remember your soul came to earth to, live, to learn lessons. And so how do you know that it wasn't supposed to learn the lessons of patience or of humility or even of poverty? Okay doesn't mean you have to stay in those situations. It just means you need to learn the lessons so that you can move away from them toward abundance of health, of love, of wealth. So our third card is Archangel Jamiel, and it's Life Review. Folks, you saw me pick the cards. Okay. 
Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. <laughs> okay. Remember who you are. You do have control over how you respond to everything that goes on in your physical world. Take back your power. If you're not liking what's going on, manifest something different through how you think about things, how you speak about things, how you feel about things, and what you take action on. Life review. All right, let's say things aren't going the best right now. Sit down, take a few minutes, do some journaling, do some praying, do some meditating, whatever works for you, and write down like an inventory of your life. What has been working? What hasn't been working? When did it change? What can I do to take back my power and improve the situation? What is the one thing, the one thing right here, right now, that would make the biggest difference and improve things for you? Write that down. And then whatever that one thing is, figure out a strategy to see if you cannot bring it into your life to manifest it, okay? Folks, I hope that that helps. Um, sounds like this message is for someone who's, some ones, who may be stuck and having some challenges right now. Just remember who you are. Take back your power. And sometimes that means you just got to go back over your life and just review what's not working. If it's not working, change it. I do hope that that message resonates with you this week. This is Susan at The Rock Shop. And boy, we sure appreciate those thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And then, you know, well, that really helps us grow. And how about some comments? What's going on in your world this week? But above all, folks, have a very blessed week. Namaste.